Looks rather grim. Life in the old castle. Happy times them were. <laughs> People were all so much friendlier. Yes, all of them. Oh, and how we feasted. And uh, courted the fair maidens as well. <laughs> There was work, of course, sharpening our minds. <coughs> Making us strong. But mainly, I remember it as a happy time. The neighbors. Well, that'll teach him. Greetings, sire. Your stronghold awaits you. Thank you. So, yes, hello, and welcome to Let's Play Stronghold HD. I remember back when I first got a computer back in 2001 I think it was I'm pretty sure it was 2001 I first got an actual computer computer and this was one of the first games that I ever got and I remember playing uh, online matches with one of my friends and we just like it was so much fun just building your castle and then managing your economy and then finally having enough forces to throw them at your enemy and thinking, oh yes, I've got him now, I've got him now, only to have it all go shit. It was awesome. So, I'm playing the uh, HD version of Good Old Games. I'll throw a link into the uh, description, because the Good Old Games version is actually really good. Now, when it says HD, it just means that you can run it on HD... Uh, widescreen so I'm running it in a 16 by 9 ratio at the moment you couldn't do that with the original stronghold and you can't do it with the stronghold that was available on Steam so if you want to play it in semi widescreen you can play it in 1920 but everything seems a little bit too stretched out for my liking so I've uh, condensed it down a little bit but you can play in 1920 by 1080 if you want to but the Steam version doesn't allow you to do that, and the HD patch doesn't work so well. So it's better to go to good old games. And they're a really good place. They usually have a, a lot of sales, and a lot of the games they have there are fairly cheap. And you can get the good old games that you love to play back in, you know, whenever it was. Anyway, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be playing the combat campaign. Uh, I might, if there's enough interest, play the economic campaign at some point. But probably not, because uh, they can be a little bit tedious. The military campaign, I love this one. I also love the economic campaign, but I just don't think that you guys would be interested in watching me build the economy continually. So we'll play the military campaign, but if you guys like it, then I'm all for doing it. I might just do it anyway at some point. But for now, we're going to play the military campaign. So I have played through this a little bit, mainly because I haven't played it in god knows how many years. But there's 21 missions. And I got up to number 5. I played it a few days ago just to give it a test because I wanted to make sure I could play it first and uh, get everything sort of working alright before I started um, the LP because I'd really hate to start the LP and then not be able to finish it because I've forgotten how to play the bloody game. So, let's begin with Gathering the Lost. It's sort of the tutorial mission. But I'll let... Uh, so Long Arm and Lord Woolsack explain. As soon as the king had marched his army into the barbarian homeland, rumors began of a plot to seize the throne. Curses! When news came of the king's capture, the country was invaded. Several nobles, including your father, sought to end the bloodshed. But on the way to meet for negotiations, their party was massacred by a band of unknown raiders. 
Those bastards. And exhausted, you have been beaten back to a forest on an overlooked peninsula where a small group of loyal troops are hiding. Although the country is lost, maybe from this refuge, you can at least avenge your father's death. Hopefully. I say we act now and strike while the iron is hot. No, 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 no. The few men we have would be cut down like lambs to the slaughter. We need time to gather our forces. Nonsense. I shall take six of my finest men into enemy territory by the cover of darkness and... No, 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 just, just listen. <laughs> our men are close to starvation. This is what we must do. The debate rages on well into the night, but eventually Lord Woolsack takes you to one side. Sir Longarm tells me he knew your father well, which is why I'm giving you your chance to prove yourself. It is time you got your first taste of command. Yay! So as you can see, this looks suspiciously like Britain, doesn't it? And this looks suspiciously like Cornwall. Not a coincidence. So, we've got uh, four enemies in the actual game. For now, we've got neutral lands, because we don't own anything. We haven't done the first mission yet. But as we do missions, we'll uh, gather up bits of the land. It sort of just progresses that way, though. You don't really get to uh, decide, okay, I'll attack the rat here, and I'll attack uh, the snake here. But these guys are your four enemies. You've got the rat, the snake, the pig, and the wolf. And the wolf is a bastard. He's going to be the one giving us the most trouble, even though he doesn't show up until very, very late game. Anyway, let us continue. We need you to oversee the setting up of a good-sized base camp. Start by finding a suitable clearing, then use some of the wood plentiful in this area to begin your construction. Cheers, Lord Woolsack. So this is a supply gathering mission. 20 meat, 40 wood. You get points for collecting all of that. You get extra points for every bit that you uh, collect over the required quota. You can also get hints. It's kind of uh, self-explanatory a lot of the time. But some of them can be kind of handy when you get to the later missions and you go, Oh, shit, I'm stumped. And then you click on the hint and you go, Aha! Uh -huh. That could be a valid strategy. You've also got a uh, tutorial for that sort of stuff. It's a tutorial inside a tutorial, really. It's like um, the glossary, pretty much. So you've got your objectives, your hints, and your glossary in case you want to know about stuff. So your keep, etc. But I'll explain that because I know how everything works. Place a keep to site your castle. My so this name. is your keep. Yes, your keep, and it's basically your central building. Your site lord hangs your out in it. Sire. And the stockpile is attached to it. This is your granary. It's where all your food goes. And the stockpile is where all your goods go. So stuff like wood, uh, stone, iron, etc. We'll build one extra uh, stockpile bit. And we need some woodcutter's huts before we do anything else. Because if we run out of wood, we won't be able to complete the mission. So if I'd built uh, Hunter's Post first and built four accidentally, we wouldn't have been able to build any of these, and then we would have had to restart the mission entirely. That sounds a little loud, so I'm just going to turn that down a little. That's better. Cool. So the hunters collect meat. Rather self-explanatory. And the woodcutters collect wood. You'll basically get a set of um, food buildings for each mission. You'll gradually unlock each sort of food production facility. So we've got castle buildings, which includes walls, your barracks, your armory, that sort of thing. What a speed message is this from on? your scribe. Oh. Animal tracks have been reported in the area, sire. Damnation! I had uh, the game speed set up really quick because I was test running the game, so I wanted to see if uh, how it would deal with. A lot of stuff going on with the screen. Anyway, uh, this is where you get your towers, your gatehouses, your um, walls and barracks, etc. And all the other assorted goodies. Industry buildings, it's industry. Fairly self-explanatory. Food buildings, 
generates food. Food processing buildings process the food. So bakeries, mills, and uh, breweries for hops and ale and that sort of thing. Weapons buildings to create the weapons to arm your soldiers, for which you need an armory. And town buildings is basically houses and chapels and the like. So uh, your basic amenities, that sort of thing. Plus uh, good popularity increasing buildings and bad fear a increasing buildings. From your that sort of thing. Scouts are reporting that packs of wolves are closing in on the castle. We must get the supplies stored. Calm down, dude. We're getting it done. 37 wood right Our there. Food stocks 26. Are 25. Lots of meat. We're getting the job done, guys. Calm down. So you can Our also set in the granaries. Growing, yes, thank you. Thank you. You can set uh, ration sizes. Full rations gives you no popularity bonus, but it doesn't take away popularity either. But minus rations does. Plus rations obviously gives you better um, better popularity. And you can see the breakdown of food. So if there's a food stockpile that you have to specifically collect, like meat, you can go, right, you can't have it. Of course, if that's your only food store, that could be a bit problematic. I'll just quickly go up here so I can show you the how the, objecti how the objectives track. So it tracks how much you have of each objective. Um, of each thing, and once you get the required amount, it puts a sword into it, so fairly easy to follow. And that should be that. Victory! We are victorious, sire! Yes! Because, you know, that was so difficult. Whilst the men frantically ferry precious supplies into the granary, Sir Longarm and Lord Woolsack ride into the camp. Hi guys. Job well done. Not too bad for your first attempt. Cheers. No, no, no. A foolish pitched camp in the middle of the wolves migration track. Hey, I'm right here. Good. Dude. It will give the men some well needed <laughs> practice before we make our strike. He has a point. <laughs> Now I have no choice but to send out a scout to find a more permanent position. Whinge, whinge, whinge. It's all you ever do. So there you go, we've collected the first county, your kingdom. And then if we click on the little hand, mission two. Again, this is a tutorial mission. Day by day, the camp becomes more overwhelmed by the wolves, and their persistent howling robs the men of sleep. The situation is about to get out of hand when Lord Woolsack's scout returns. Soon afterwards, you are summoned into the command tent. Sir Longarm has convinced me to give you another chance. We have found the remains of an abandoned stockade. Right. Wolves plague this county every winter. So, we need you to get the stockade back up to scratch quickly. Okay. Failure is not an option this time. Hey, I did not Just fail last keep time. keep your eyes peeled. Don't you be giving me that bullshit. I didn't fail. To ensure the safety of your men, you are required to renovate the abandoned stockade before winter is upon us again. Use your archers to kill off any wolves that threaten your peasants. Okay. So, fairly easy again. Uh, the hints shouldn't be too uh, groundbreaking. Yeah, we get some archers this time. You can flatten the walls and such. I'll show you how that works in a minute. Sight your granary, sire. So we can sight our granary. Yeah, I'll put it there. And the first thing we want are some woodcutters. So we'll put one here, one here. And then we'll get a hunter's post as well. Cool. So if you tap spacebar, like so, you get the uh, ground view of um, the castle. So it's helpful for when you're placing things in uh, tight spaces because space is at a premium in this game. The nice thing is you can do it when you're placing walls and you can see exactly where everything's going. So part of our mission was we had to complete the stockade. What that means is we have to make this ring complete. It doesn't have to be a ring, you just have to connect the walls. So it's helpful if it's a ring. So basically, it's not too difficult, it's fairly simple. You just collect 
The meat collects wood. Everything's all good. So we're probably going to have a bit of problems. We're going to have a few problems with our food supply at the beginning, mainly because we've got some peasants sitting around doing nothing. In this game, unlike a lot of games, peasants hanging around doing nothing is a very bad thing because they still eat your food. They just don't contribute to your society. So hopefully once these guys have collected a few logs and put them on the stockpile, we'll be able to build up our food production industry. But we also want to close the gap here because if we scroll up and hit spacebar again, we can see that there are wolves and they will come to try and eat your people and they can do it. But luckily you've got the Lord. You can't control where he goes unless you tell him to attack. But he can be very useful. He can take on about eight wolves before he goes down. So he's he's useful, but um, if you try to face him off against enemy troops and he's severely outnumbered, you're going to lose. Oh, and that's another thing. If your lord dies, you lose the mission. Like, completely. It's like um, with the main hero character from Silent Storm. If he dies, you are out of the game. So we'll build us yeah, we'll build two more hunters posts, I think. So we've got one already. Um, there, that'll do. We've got 14 wood left, so we should be able to build another gate. We build one. A message Just from your there. scribe. The wolves are on the prowl, sire. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's fine. We have enough archers. We should be okay. So the gates will automatically close when enemies come toward it, but you can close them manually if you want to. Open, shut. Yes, I know I did it in reverse order. But this mission isn't too difficult. I mean, as long as you make sure that your archers are paying attention, they'll take care of the wolves. It's fairly simple. And there you have it. One wolf attack beaten. If you're playing on um, hard, those attacks are much more Our brutal. Granary stocks are growing, sire. But it's fairly simple to uh, defeat the attacks. It's the tutorial missions. There's, it's the pair of tutorial missions. It's not really anything groundbreaking. Not for now, anyway. Everything's fairly simple. And the map is fairly small. The maps get a lot bigger as you go through the game. But for now it's small because you don't really need a big map. There's no point. Also no in the keep... In the treasury, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get various sorts of keeps. The Saxon Hall is the first one. It doesn't really make any difference except the bigger keeps actually have these platforms accessible. And the Lord will hang around on top. But what it does do is it lets you set taxes. So for every tax slider... Um, chunk, you go up, you bit lose some popularity. Oh, quit you bitchin. You go up a bit, and in popularity, love you, for having no taxes. But you lose some for having taxes, though you Our can offset that with uh, growing, rations and, the, and such. Gold stocks grow steadily, sire. Stop interrupting me, voices. But you can have a look in the popularity thing. You can click this book here. This is your scribe. You can click on him, and then the go to popularity. And it'll show you a breakdown of how much people will like you or hate you over the next little while. And then there's Fear Factor, which is how much people like you because of your popularity buildings, but they reduce efficiency. Or how much they don't like you, but efficiency, efficiency increases. Inefficiency? What the fuck's inefficiency? Derp, derp, derp. And population, etc. You can have a look at the breakdown. It's sort of like a, an almanac. A message if you from like. your scribe. Here they come again, sire. Yeah, well. Victory. We win. Victory. <laughs> so there you go. Not really a particularly difficult mission. So we'll start on the uh, we'll start on the third one. Well, at least you can complete half a task. Hey, I did the whole thing. Stop carping. Job well done. Thank you. Now. Our men are secure, and we can send a hunting party into the next county to eradicate the wolves for good. 
Excellent. I suppose it must be done. But we have to proceed with caution, as that county is close to the enemy's border. Yeah, yeah. So timid. And there we have it. We now have two counties. Well, we have one, but we're getting two, so... Eliminating the wolves. We need you to train some new recruits in the use of the bow. That mustache. <laughs> the wolves breed in the next county. Find their lairs and wipe them out. It's them or us. Alright. Find a hilltop and fortify yourself there using a mot and bailey. Duke de Pousse has been patrolling the area of late, so it is vital you are not spotted, as we don't stand a chance against a full assault. If you see that rat before I do, be sure you slice him open for me. Can do. Construct a Mutton Bailey fortification and strengthen it with some towers. Then start bow production and raise a force of archers with which to eradicate the wolves that run riot there. So it says construct a Mutton Bailey. Uh, that's just generally a keep on a hill, but you don't actually have to do it. You don't have to surround it with a palisade. You can uh, do a few interesting things. I'll show you how uh, I finish the mission. But uh, yeah, wood is very, very There's important for this one. So we're going to pop the lead. time down to 35 just while we plan. So what he's saying is basically set up your, your castle here. That's actually a pretty good spot for the keep. So we're going to put it there. Granary, sire. The granary should be fairly central because you'll have Can't a lot of fellas there, going around. So there we go. Can't that's place that there, my lord. Shut up. That's a use of the uh, spacebar tool for a minute. And then we'll need some hunter's posts. So we'll build one, two, and three. And then we'll need a few woodcutters as well. One, two, three. A message from your scribe. Mm. We'll have to work fast. These wolves Four. are everywhere. Yeah, I think four is a good number. Now what you can do, is you can just do this. You can put a gate over here, like that, and then just build a palisade across like that. So once the first guy comes in with some wood, we can finish that off, and then the wolves just can't get to you. Because the only wolves on this side are these guys. There's one, and the um, the Lord can take care of that if he needs to. Woodcutters can also fight the uh, the wolves. Woodcutters and huntsmen. Morning, so these fellas. Lordship. Morning, Charlie. These fellas. Morning, your Lordship. There's two Charlies. They're everywhere. So uh, woodcutters and huntsmen will attack the wolves back if they get attacked by them. So that's a form of protection that you can use. Now it said also about towers, you finally get the option to build things, such as wooden platforms. They're basically just little towers you can put behind Not a palisade. Wood, my lord. Yes, I know, I just want to demonstrate it. God. And obviously the gatehouse. The armory, despite looking like it's built out of stone, isn't actually built out of stone, it's built out of uh, wood. But we obviously can't build it yet, because we don't have any wood. You can pop the speed back up though, to 55 I think. Mm -hmm. So, we haven't really had many buildings increased, but we do have one new one, and that's the Fletcher's Workshop. Now, it costs gold. So, Our ideally... Stocks are growing, sire. Thank you. Ideally, you'll have uh, enough huntsmen out and about, so you can put your rations up to half uh, extra rations, right? No change in the treasury, lord. And then go and put low taxes up. Much these the taxes. people love you, my lord. Of course they do. I'm awesome. Our gold stocks grow because steady, you won't need a whole heap of gold, but you'll need some of it. You shouldn't need too many archers to actually finish the mission. So we can build a gate here. And I'm pretty sure we can just build the wall around this guy. Yeah, we can just build the wall around him. He doesn't count as an enemy. And there you go. Good luck with that, wolves. You have fun. And we'll build the armory here. 
And one of the cool things they did with this was they made the Fletcher have a gimpy leg. Now you'd be thinking to yourself, hang on, how's that cool, Grey Hunter? Well, because when you've got him, right, he limps from place to place. So if you don't build him fairly close to the stockpile, he takes ages to get from here to here. And he needs to go twice. I just think it's a pretty cool uh, little function. So we'll lock the gates so that the wolves can't come across. Done. Deal. Because the wolves can't come across here. They can't cross the water. We can't cross the water. They can't come around. Now, this interesting thing here is a signpost. What is the signpost? Well, the signpost tells you where enemies are coming in. So, yes, we are going to have to face off against some of the rat's men, but we've got a fair few woodcutters. We've got four, and they each bring eight wood to the table, so we should have plenty to be able to afford a second uh, Fletcher's Workshop. Oh, they bring twelve. I was thinking of stone. But we have enough to afford a second Fletcher's Workshop fairly easily. Uh, we'll build... Yeah, we'll Not build enough that there. workers available to run this building. And there we go. We've run out of workers to run the building. So we build a new hovel. That new hovel will give us an extra eight peasants. Which can be very, very useful. Now, we don't really have to do this. But I like completing my castle somewhat. So we're going to build a bit of a palisade out this way. You also can't build too close to the signpost. You'll see that little tooltip there, too close to the signpost to build. It's generally not all that important. You don't even actually have to uh, kill the rat's men when they come. It's just a good idea to do so. That said, the Lord could solo them if he had to. But generally, you don't want to get the Lord into a fight, because if you get him into a fight, then it can get a little bit awkward. There we go, so they're bringing up some more wood, excellent. And we'll be able to build wood barracks. Don't give me that bullshit. I want my barracks. Give me my barracks. Alright, well, they've got another 36 wood coming in, so we'll be able to build it in a second. Alrighty, barracks. I'll place you there. And we'll build a bit more of the palisade. Sir, Dupuis's men have arrived. We can't allow them to give away our position. Well, we, we can't exactly do much about needed, it. Sire. They'll basically just shoot. But that's fine. Yes. Now Archers we have three arches ready. of our own. I'll build them a platform, My boys put them yours. on the platform, and they should be able to kill the rats men easy. Me lord. Arrows ready. Kill. Kill. There you go. Instructions, not arrows. That's pretty cool. They're actually fighting on the walls. Orders. And the walls do provide you with a bit of protection as well. Which is awesome. Because if it didn't provide you with protection, those yes. three guys would have been able to kill at least one of mine. But they didn't. They didn't manage it because we had protection. We await orders. And we'll get a few more archers. archers ready. Because we will kind of need them for taking out the wolves. My boy's yours. More than that is one of the objectives. Eradicate the wolves. So we do have to worry about this. We await orders. A message from your scribe. The wolves are on the prowl, sire. Yeah, well, let's see them get into my place. Instructions. Yeah. Poor wolfykins. Oh, come on, let me build another tower. Let me build a damn tower. Yeah, some places the ground is just not flat enough to build a tower, but that's okay. Just for the sake of completionism, I'm going to finish the, uh, the bailey. We 
We await orders. We await orders. We are on our way. Yes. Can you guys Find hit them, them from here? Targets. You can swell. Archers ready. Take steady aim. There we go. So there's not all that many wolves left. And they're fairly easy to take out, all things considered. So we'll bump up the speed a little bit to 90. You can't actually go to 100, which is interesting. Because you would think that 90 would be just under full speed, but apparently not. Come on, guys. Get everything done. Build you to there. Build a gate. And each gate has uh, different facings as well, so you can determine which way things go. If you build them too close, like I just did then, you'll lose a platform on one side for the, um, for the wooden gatehouse. You can't do that with stone gatehouses, they just don't let you build too close together, so you don't have to worry about that. And back down to 60, I think. But now we have a few bows. Lies and slander. Weapons are not needed. We already have them. Me lord. Northern off. Okay. Instructions. Gentlemen. Arrows if I went ready. ready. We Just await flat. orders. Notch arrows. Oh dear. Now are there any more walls? I don't think so. Nope. Victory. Victory. Awesome. Fortunately, the rat scouting party did not survive long enough to give away your position. But it is likely that they will be missed before long. Yes. Awkward. So I'll probably end the first video here. So tell me what you guys think. I'm going to be playing around with the audio and such for a little bit, but I'll probably record the second episode at the same time. In fact, yeah, I will. I'm having fun. 